Runaway Tram is the world's only roller coaster themed to the infamous Wildwood Boardwalk Tram. Located at Maurice Piers, this Zier family coaster may be compact, but it offers a pleasant ride experience for both younger and older guests alike. Find out why you shouldn't sleep on this coaster in this review. Maurice Piers opened the Flitzer in 1983. Also built by Zier, this was a popular family coaster on the Surfside Pier, and after the 2018 season, Maurice decided to retire this small coaster. The park owners have performed many refurbishments over the years, but they deemed the ride too costly to fix this time. Maurice Piers would open a brand new roller coaster at the cost of $4 million to replace Flitzer. Maurice did need to remove and reconfigure seven different attractions to accommodate this new ride, including the Dew Whopper roller coaster, and sections of the boardwalk also had to be removed so footers could be poured into the ground but Runaway Tram still opened in the summer of 2019. Runaway Tram would stand 36 feet or 11 meters tall and feature 922 feet or 281 meters of track. This would be a Zier Force 281 coaster, which was a mirrored clone of Flying Eagle at Legoland Billund. The coaster features a sleek yellow paint scheme, a flashy sign reminiscent of 50s diners, and a multicolored lighting package. This coaster looks fantastic at night as the track changes colors. But most importantly, the coaster features a theme in tune with the locality. If you've ever visited Wildwood, you've probably heard this iconic phrase. Watch the tram car, please. The Wildwood tram runs the length of the Wildwood boardwalk, and the operator fires off that iconic pre-recorded phrase every few seconds because people inevitably will walk in front of that yellow and blue tram. Maurice created a cartoony zero car for the runaway tram and plopped a fare collector statue on the back of the train. Although the latter wasn't there for the ride's inaugural season due to issues getting it approved at the state of New Jersey, but it has been there from 2020 onwards. There isn't much other theming, but Maurice is a boardwalk amusement park, so that's fine here. Runaway tram features a single 10 car train that can seat up to 20 guests, but thankfully lines usually aren't a major issue for this coaster. Trains feature comfortable, individual lap bars, and they're loaded at a steady pace. The attendants allow just enough people in the station to fill the train, but you are permitted to wait an extra cycle on the stairs for a specific seat if you'd like. I personally don't have much of a preference where I sit on this one. Once dispatched, you head up the tire-driven lift hill. You get a nice view of the beach and ocean to your right. At the top, you lurch forwards and then you twist to the left. The first drop doesn't really do much. It just gets the speed going for the rest of the layout. You then traverse this bunny hill. Off-ride, it looks like this hill will be too drawn out to offer any airtime, but it actually gives a tiny bit of floater airtime throughout the train. You then rip around a shockingly forceful turn with really good positive Gs for not only a family coaster, but coasters in general. This is easily the best part of the ride for me. You then navigate the slalom section. It's a dud in terms of forces, but you do have a few near misses with the supports to compensate. Then the far turn continues the head choppers, while also dishing out some moderate positive Gs for a change. Runaway Tram then treats riders to a 360 degree downwards helix that gives some okay positive forces, and then you cruise through the brake run, return to the station, and... Watch the tram car, please. You hear those iconic five words and repeat the course a second time. It gives guests a good bang for their buck, considering the coaster costs roughly $7 if you do the pay-per-ride option. Runaway Tram may only reach a top speed of 29 miles per hour, or 46 kilometers per hour, but this family coaster keeps good pace throughout the layout, relative to its size, and it is immaculately smooth too. So what would I rate Runaway Tram? I would give this Zier creation a 6 out of 10. This is a solid family coaster. I like the unique theme, the coaster is super e-ridable, and it can satisfy all ages. It's approachable for kids with its moderate size, while still offering a pinch of forces for older guests. This coaster is a case as the best family coaster on the Jersey Shore. So those are my thoughts on the runaway tram at Maury's Piers. What are your thoughts on this wacky tram car? Let me know your thoughts on this ride, or any of its clones down in the comments. If you enjoyed this review, I'd appreciate it if you gave this video a like, and you considered subscribing, because there'll be a lot more roller coaster and amusement park videos here at Canopy Coaster.
Thanks for watching.